go into the nest and wrestle him down. I don't want him breaking my, my equipment, guys. Dude, be careful, man. Oh, I will. I will. There he goes right there. Oh, oh my. Oh, my. Oh. I'm going to try to grab one of these. Look how I do it, and then you can go for that big one over there, all right, dude? What's going on guys it's your boy the iguana man and today we are going to be doing an iguana removal challenge how many iguanas can we catch in one hour watch the whole video and find out first iguana we snagged is a small male basking right next to the water in the bag Got him. you didn't see that one coming y'all we out here we just put the hickory dickory on his behind look at this boy whoa 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 oh my goodness <laughs> Feisty. Feisty. Calm down. Calm down. As you guys can see, they go absolutely insane on the line. They just go crazy, crazy, crazy spin. He got me right there, guys. He, he nicked me a little bit. That was my fault. What's the number one rule when you're last one when you go on? Never second guess if they're tired. That's the easiest way to get scratched, tail whipped, or even bit. This guy was out here hanging with his friends. We just taught him a super fat lesson. Now, we're going to put him in the bag. Let's catch some more. All right, Mr. Iguana, you're not being arrested. You're just being detained. We just spotted a giant. People coming all the way from up north, coming down here to teach these iguanas a fat lesson, dude. Super. And it just amazes me how people are traveling from so far away to come see these things, dude. Exactly. You, not just only to see these things, but see the man himself, the myth legend, Iguana Man. Yeah, dude, and he always makes a great tour, dude. Oh, yeah, no always. doubt, man. A lot of excitement, a lot of activity. Oh, he's about to get on. In the back. That's in the back. Look at that Ooh, graceful. That's in the back. In the Flip back. Up and over, just like that. Don't give him no time to react. And by the time he thinks and he realizes what's going on, it's already too late. Hold on, I'm gonna try to go get that female right there. Got you, you buddy. You see her right there? Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can go. Nice, dude. That was the most graceful catch ever right there, Thank dude. You. Super finesse, man. Literally. Damn, he really doesn't want to be bound up, dude. <laughs> What the? That lock jaw. Oh, yeah, he's got lock jaw. He's Look got lock that. jaw. They have very strong, sharp bites. Both animals, you don't want to get bit by neither of them. Right. That was that was the whole point of that. Exactly, guys. So if we can let you know and keep you out of harm's way when you're out here, then <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let us be the example and some of those kids online sticking their hands inside the iguana getting messed up. <laughs> Roll the clip. Up, guys, my name is Dave Irwin. And this is the series where you take a bite and rank the scale of pain of one to ten. This right here is a green iguana. Let's see if he'll go for my arm here. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. He did, a, he did a great job there. Much better than I thought. Yeah, I'll probably need stitches. In the bag. Fatty. She's about to run too, but not today. That's a fatty, fatty, fatty. She's a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Yo, so what's the target number for today, dude? Our goal today, guys, is just a quick 10 iguana removal. Okay. Gotta reach the hottest part of the day. We can't be out here. The iguanas can't be out of here. So there is a time deadline, guys. We need to catch 10 iguanas in one hour. Can we do it? We already have three. We just need seven more to go. Stay tuned and find out if we accomplish our task. All right, guys, we got one hour to fulfill this bag. 10 iguanas in one hour is a hard task to do, y'all. So stay tuned. I'm going to see if we can't get on them. We got the iguana, man. We got the iguana ninja. And we got some people down from Maryland, y'all, coming down here to teach these iguanas a fat lesson, man. Oh, my. Look at this guy. It's a wild puppy. Hey, boy. Wild puppy just has a beard. Hi. Hi, boy. You sweet puppy. Yeah. Smell my puppy? True. Hey, maybe he can come and help us peer from nowhere? Yeah, he's in the bush right 
That's so strange. Do you think he's lost or? Yeah, and he's probably just a smart puppy and uh, oh, I see. He's got that little screen that he jumps out of and in right there. He was just trying, he was just jumping up on there. Yep. That's, it. That's a giant alpha. We'll stay back. Right out the structure. We don't want to give him a chance to go up in there and tangle us up. Oh my god. But this thing is really strong and he can break us off at any moment. So I might have to go into the nest and wrestle him down. I don't want him breaking my, my equipment, guys. Dude, be careful, man. Oh, I will. I will. There he goes right there. Oh my oh my Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Dog. <laughs> that was super dangerous, guys. That was super sketch. Just goes to show how unpredictable these giant animals can be, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Hold on. Let's get him out of here. Come here, buddy. He's not ready. He's not ready. Oh my gosh. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. He's got him. We got him. We got him. He still's got a lot of energy. So let's go guys oh. let's go guys we went from catching some decent ones all the way to the seven foot dragon eagle right here guys. stay back so i can get the full picture dude that thing's almost as tall as you dude dude yeah dude oh my gosh he's at least five foot i'm about five eight he's at least five five two dragon iguana guys that's what we call these things some point or another, the green ones, they, they get really big and they get really orange like this, guys. And we call them alphas. They're the leaders of the packs. They're the ones breeding all. Do you think that's like maybe five years old or how old do you, can you? Yeah, this could be at least, he's at least five to 10 years old. It's wow. hard to- uh, You guys wanna eat him? Yeah. It's yeah. hard. Could I hold his, his tail? Sure. It's, oh, it's really hard to estimate their age oh, wow. out here in the wild because they have unlimited resources to grow as big as they want. Look at him. He's oh, looking right at you. A lot of meat right there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But the skin, the texture of the skin is like cloth. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the first time I ever touched one. Oh, yes. more. Yep. Let, let Check him out. He, he's coming his, out here all the time. Let me get his number. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, if you got, if you got any more removal uh, that needs to be done, we're, we're more than welcome to help out. Guys, this is what it's about, guys. It's about coming out here, uh, taking out the big giant breeders, guys teaching them a fat lesson, but not to worry guys. These big ones are actually some of the tastier ones. Look at all that tail meat guys that we're gonna have to eat. That's like a baby crocodile right there guys. Look at that tail, huge, huge. Can't even huge. fit my fingers around it dude. Huge, Look at dude. that. He got me. Look how I got him. He got me with his claws dude. Barely even, barely even touched me. Yeah, and, here. and you know, it pokes you. This goes to prove. Oh, look at this. Ninja's already on another one. Yeah, look how I got him. Tail and a leg. Damn, he was like one little thing away from slipping off, yeah, dude. Yeah, one little thing, too little. But I'm gonna try to get that monster right there, too. Dude, I'm, I'm thinking that's the biggest iguana that we caught since I've been down here, dude. Yeah, facts. That's a big iguana. Ninja on again, man. Call him the ninja, the way he sneak up on the iguana. Let's get it. We got a quarter to make in under an hour. We're trying to get her done. Guys, it's about to be the hardest part of the day. Huge shout out to the iguana ninja for teaching this fat one a super fat lesson. You guys seen she was hiding right under there in the shade. Within a couple of minutes, guys, these iguanas are going to be gone. It's going to be way too hot. So we're, we're trying to get as many as we can right before they disappear for the rest of the day. Let's go. We're about 70% of the way done, and we haven't even hit but 10, 15 minutes, dude. <laughs> we're on fire right now, guys. Literally. Guys, we're, right, guys, we're gonna need your guys' help in the comment section down below. How much do you think this iguana is gonna weigh? Ninja, your takes? He's a 12 pounder, off rip. Iguana man? I'm gonna say a healthy 11. He's gonna say a healthy 11. I'm gonna push 13.5, uh, just in case he's over you guys, I win. <laughs> But he looks delicious. He's a massive one. 
biggest one that we've caught out here on our Miami trip so far. We're one step closer to the quota. Stay tuned if you guys want to see how much he weighs. You guys are going to have to see this at the end of the video. Even though we only have three left to get, we can't uh, stay off our guard, guys. We have to be focused. We have to be diligent. We have to be aware of the slip. Oh, Iguana's running up the tree right there. Although we got the seven quick, these last three ones could be super hard to get. Got he. Finesse him, dude. So guys, as you guys can see, we're back over here at, at the residential neighborhood that we're working on. They got some fruit trees back here, but as you guys can see, they had to put a barrier up. Reason being, guys, this area is infested with invasive green iguanas. And within an instant, guys, they would come over here, take over this property, eat all those fruit, and just make this place a, a, a disastrous situation for the residents and their fruit, guys. So extreme measures. This takes a lot of time, a lot of money to make this perimeter. And it's all in the efforts to help control the invasive iguanas from taking over. And this, guys, is the aftermath of an iguana infestation in your area. At one point, this whole area was covered with nice, lush green grass. But as you guys can see, the iguanas have ran it down into nothing but rubble, guys. There's holes, there's tail marks everywhere. My guess, guys, is the iguanas have chosen this spot to nest, probably under this, this tile porch thingy that we're on right here, guys. This platform, they're underneath it, laying a massive nest. So this is a huge, huge problem here in Florida. And uh, that's why we're out here teaching these iguanas fat lessons putting them in the bag. Right Basically, here, guys, as you guys seen, we ended up catching a bunch. It's been about an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and give you guys the final count. And of course, as promised, we are gonna weigh out the giant alpha that we caught. Um, real quick, let's do the count. And Ninja's got the scale. And we will uh, weigh everything out. Go ahead and just start counting out those boys. One. Iguana. Number two. Iguana. Three. Iguana. Four iguana. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And number ten. Guys, we filled our quota of ten iguanas in just one hour, y'all. One hour. That, that is super hard to do. What an accomplishment. Dude. Absolutely, we man. The bag, Absolutely. We tagged them, we whacked them, and yeah. we stacked them. Absolutely, guys. You guys can see it right there at that job. It was absolutely infested with iguanas. Some of the iguana some of the residents were really happy we were doing removal. Some of them were not. But one thing you guys gotta realize about these iguanas is they are that invasive, guys. That as cool as they are, some people might think they're pets, but it's something that needs to be done. We have to do what we have to do to protect the great state of Florida from these invasive lizards, guys, because they are taking over. Guys, that's about all we have for you guys today. The sun is coming up. It's about to reach into the triple digits. We got to go cool off. We have to prepare for our next removal job. So guys, stay tuned. Give the video a like. Oh, I almost forgot. Guys, we need to weigh our giant iguana. I said 13.5. I believe I you, you said, what, 12? Yes, sir. And Iguana Man gave it 11. So who's gonna win this challenge? Who's gonna guess the right weight? Absolutely. Comment down below right now what you think the weight is. All right, the scale is at zero. Calibrated. Yep, calibrated. And ready to go. Yep. And what do you know, guys? A guana man is spot on. Yep, he's 10.7. He, he rounds up to 11, so we are going to count him as an 11 pounder. Uh, still, like guys, he's all all of 10 pounds, guys. Massive lizard, 10 pound lizard, guys, roaming the streets of South Florida. There's a lot more of them, guys. So if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure the bell is on. Make sure you give the video a like, guys, because we're going to have more iguana removal coming soon, and we're going to be targeting a whole bunch of other new species. So you definitely don't want to miss that. All right, so I'm going to hand this over to you. Look at that, y'all. What do you know? A guana man got the weight right. What does he do this thing every day or something? Is he, are you the are you the iguana man? Of course he got it right, y'all. So stay tuned. We're about to go on vacation. We're about to cook these guys up. Stay tuned and guess what? Keep on catching.